Welcome to First Coast Realty's Consumer Coaching. Hello, and welcome to First Coast Realty's Consumer Coaching blog. Our topic today is eight reasons not to FISBO your home. So you've decided to sell your home. You decide that the best way to go about doing this is to do it yourself and not use an agent. This is going to save you money since you won't be paying the commission to an agent. After all, it can't really be that difficult, right? Take some pictures, get it online, and wait for the offers to roll in. While some people have been successful in selling their property themselves, most for sale by owner listings fail. Continue on to find out the top eight reasons not to sell by owner. The first reason is time. How long do you want your home to sit on the market? The longer the home is on the market, the less it will sell for, generally speaking. According to the National Association of Realtors, homes sold through the multiple listing service sell 20 days faster, and 20% of FISBO listings don't sell in their first listing period. Also, the longer your home sits on the market, the more HOA dues, taxes, utilities, insurance, and many other items you will have to pay. As the expression goes, Time is money. When you for sale by owner your property, you will have the responsibility of taking the perfect pictures, getting the marketing description right, spending the time showing the property, entertaining the tire kickers, and talking with agents. The second reason not to FISBO your house are the costs. When you sell by owner, you may think you're saving money, but in reality, you're often spending a lot of money up front with no guarantee of a return. It takes money to properly market a listing. Listing a home online, professional photography, the newspaper ads, open house materials, it will all cost you money. When you work with an agent, the agent fronts the cost of this marketing for you. Speaking of marketing, this is one of the areas that you can benefit from by working with an agent. Experienced agents will have a tried and true marketing plan for selling a home. They know exactly where to spend the marketing dollars and what will yield the best return in the quickest amount of time possible. It's no surprise that homes sold via FISBO have seen a steady decline as online real estate has become the norm rather than the exception. According to Zillow, the most common reasons people FISBO their property is to save money. But choosing to FISBO doesn't mean you're really saving money, especially when on average, homes sold by agents get more money compared to homes sold through FISBO. Also, even if you choose to FISBO your property, it's still unlikely that you will pay zero commissions. A real estate agent will most likely represent the buyer. This agent will be expecting at least a 3% commission for procuring the buyer. When you decide to sell your home yourself, you are telling other agents that you don't understand their value in a multi-billion dollar industry. Agents often see FISBO sellers as easy marks to negotiate against because they know they have the upper hand. They control the buyer, the offer, and they can negotiate their own commissions. They can also pick your property and your price apart because they have the expertise to do so. They don't need to worry about treating you unfairly because the chance of them dealing with you again is slim to none. More often than not, they will simply ignore your listing altogether to avoid the hassle. A home sale is a legal transaction, and if you choose to FISBO your property, you will have to do all of the negotiations by yourself. Some of the people you will have to negotiate with include the buyer, the buyer's agent, possibly the buyer's attorney, the home inspector, the appraiser, and possibly even the buyer's bank. In your lifetime, if you sold all of your homes, you would probably sell three to four homes in a lifetime, while a real estate agent sells three to four homes in a week. That's the type of person you want handling your negotiations. When people choose to FISBO their property, they are putting themselves and their family in danger by allowing strangers into their home. Think about what happens in a showing. 
People you don't know walk through your home, rifle through your closets, storage sheds, garage, and any other things they might need to look at. Most buyers will not want a seller following them around everywhere they go. But even if you are present, you can't be everywhere at once. There have been more than one report about scammers pretending to view a home and in the end rob whatever valuables they can find and easily grab. A real estate broker would screen potential qualified buyers, set appointments, and accompany buyers to all showings of your property. Selling a home is a legal transaction. Remember that if you choose to sell your home yourself. Some states don't even let you go through a home closing process without having a real estate attorney present. Not only that, but unless you're well versed in legal documents, you could end up overlooking a required form or disclosure and end up with a lawsuit after closing. A real estate agent knows the legal ins and outs of home selling and can help make sure you don't end up with a lawsuit on your hands. When you sell your home without an agent, any mistakes you make can cost you greatly. Agents have something called E&O or errors and omissions insurance. This protects them when mistakes are made in contracts. When you sell on your own, others can make sure to exploit every little mistake you make. The bottom line, before you decide to take on the challenges of selling your house on your own, sit with a real estate professional in your marketplace and see what they have to offer. Any of the First Coast Realty agents would be happy to assist. Feel free to give us a call and see how you can leverage our knowledge to your advantage. Thank you for viewing this week's consumer coaching video. Join us next week for eight things you don't do while financing a house.